On June 10th, 1940, Mussolini declared war on the Allies. Gripped by fear of a new enemy within, the Australian government reacted immediately by interning Italian migrants all across the country, many of whom were already naturalised British subjects. Nearly 5,000 innocent men were imprisoned for years with no charge. Just as these men were kept behind barbed wire with no way to look after their families, so too the story of this mass imprisonment has been largely kept from Australian history. Enemy Aliens is a project that will aim at telling their story. Daniel Tenney is the producer and he joins me on the line. Daniel, welcome to the program. Hi Liz, how are you going? Daniel, when did you first become aware of internment camps? About a little bit over two years ago or three years ago when I was at uni. I heard sort of whispers that it happened in a documentary class and then I started sort of researching it for a film project about a year later and that's when I found out that I had family involvement as well. Why was it that your family kept something so big, so secretive? I think it's just kind of the old-fashioned way, for lack of a better term. They don't really talk about the tough times and things like that. I know when I got home and found out that my my great-grandfather was was interned, which I only found out after researching and seeing my family name on a shrine down south in Harvey, that, yeah, I I sort of said, well, how come you never told me? And she just said, oh, well, you never asked. So, yeah, so that's how it came about, and that's sort of... We've been pushing it uh, since then, since I found out it's kind of been... uh, something that's helped me keep going with it. And it sounded like you were already interested in the circumstances and this event in history, but did the fact that your grandfather was in an internment camp, I guess, prompt you to want to go into it further and and find out more about what happened back in those days? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was already an incredibly interesting subject that I think I probably would have gone into either way. Um, but I think having that family involvement definitely sort of helped inspire it a little bit more as well and made me sort of work a little bit harder for it. And it's a story that's not really told, is it? So when you were doing your research and wanting to look into this as part of your documentary, did you come across some obstacles because of that fact that it's a story that no one really wants to talk about? Yeah, there's there's been a lot. It's a very untold story um, outside of that sort of close-knit Italian community There's been a few academics that have written some books, but it's very sort of disjointed and nothing has really told the full kind of experience and journey of what occurred. Uh, So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to put together all the sort of jigsaw puzzle pieces, if you like, and uh, we're trying to document the the stories of these survivors before it's too late, really, to, to share their story. And what progress have you made with your project? We've made a lot of progress. Obviously, the short film... We made uh, two years ago now, uh, did very well, got got us into festivals around the world and things like that and got us a lot of exposure. But now it's all about the documentary, Enemy Aliens. And we've done a lot of work, sort of. We've got a lot of contacts and internee survivors that are willing to share their stories with us. But we really are sort of racing against the clock to, to document their stories because unfortunately they're all sort of aged, you know, 90, 91, 92 years old and they won't be around for much longer. So is this why it's so important to now tell their story? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's kind of a central universal thing that happens everywhere as well. Uh, Racism and migration and integration happens all over the world. Um, And the fact that no one really knew about this and that this will be forgotten if we don't do it now is kind of something that's sort of always a worry on our minds as well. Um, So we're really trying to just raise this first chunk of money so that we can go out and and film these internee stories. And when you first started telling these stories, how was the response from other people who had been either in the internment camps or had had family who'd been in these camps? Very supportive. Um, That's kind of how the documentary started because we're having screenings of the short film um, and I was just getting dozens and dozens of people coming up to me uh, sort of saying, my, my family's got a story, my dad was interned or my granddad was interned. Um, they, they all wanted to share their story. So that's when I think I realised we had to make a documentary and it's a, a really important story to, to get out to, 
to every Australian, really. For those of you who have just tuned in to ABC South Coast and Great Southern, I'm speaking with Daniel Tenney, who is the producer of a new documentary. It's Enemy Aliens, and it's a documentary project about Italian migrants who were in internment camps. And he joins me at the moment. There has been official acknowledgement in Parliament House about how the people were treated at the internment camps. How was that for you? That was incredible to be a part of that. We were invited down to the West Australian acknowledgement, which um, was great. We got to see in the gallery and sort of watch it all go down. It was really inspirational to see that the government is now sort of willing to come on board and acknowledge that this was wrong. And it's thanks to people like Tony Piccolo who started the whole acknowledgement process in South Australia. Um, and that was followed up by, by Paul Papalia and uh, Rita Staffiotti here in WA. And it looks like it'll hopefully follow around in the other states as well and go federal. So it's uh, a good thing and a good start to sort of acknowledge that this happened. Do you think that it deserves a sorry day? Oh, that's a um, debate that needs to be had. I think, in the public. Um, But my opinion, and this is just my opinion, it's not speaking for anyone, is that these internees don't want a sorry. I mean, what, or or even an amount of money, I mean, what amount of money can sort of say sorry for what happened? I think they really just want people to realise that this happened um, and that They stayed in Australia, they moved on, they built a new life and they made a really valuable contribution to Australian society. They just want to know, you know, that that people know about that. And at the moment, focusing on your back to your project, what sort of stories do you need now to be able to fulfil that project or do you have enough at the moment? We're, We're still looking for more stories, but we definitely have enough to get started um, really what we need to do, the main focus is the drive to sort of get the money um, because we already have unfortunately known a couple of internees that did die recently um, and we're really just racing to sort of raise this this first chunk of money. We're trying to get sort of um, Italian businesses and people in the Italian community to hopefully band together and, and support this story being told. So if anyone does want to help out who's listening, how can they do that? Uh, well, they can check out the website, which is just uh, www.enemyaliens.com.au and all of the details about the film. Uh, there's a little pitch trailer on there that we put together out of some test shooting and also our contact details are on there. Daniel, who else is involved in this project? Tino Films is our production company and then also recently we've had WBMC come on board. They're another first base production company and they've got a lot uh, more sort of experience in the TV and, and film world and they're really sort of helping us produce this on the highest level possible so that it can be a prime time docker that will play on ABC or SBS because we really want the most amount of people to see this film and to learn about this story. Daniel Tenney, thank you for joining me on the program this morning. Thank you very much Liz.